Given the growing interest in making money from nothing, I would like to dismantle another myth, this time that of extracting platinum from computer platters of hard disk drives. With the help of a friend who processed several hundred such disks, here I set out to see how much platinum there really contain. I did not record the process of obtaining the sheets from the image, but it consists only in choosing the disks with aluminum substrate, on which a glossy layer of an alloy formed mainly of platinum and nickel was deposited. These disks were then cut into smaller pieces, a few square centimeters, and hydrochloric acid with a concentration of 32% was added over them. A cheaper option is with the help of a concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide, in both cases dissolving the entire aluminum substrate, leaving at the end and after washing with water, only the sheets shown in the movie. However, check that the disc itself is made of aluminum by scratching the edge with a metal object, because there are also discs whose substrate is made of glass or ceramic, in which case it will not dissolve in the reagents mentioned. In fact, both types of discs can be used, but in the case of ceramic ones you will use a much larger amount of nitric acid, increasing the cost of extraction. To separate the platinum, I first dissolved the sheets in concentrated nitric acid, in this process the nickel in the alloy changed to nickel nitrate and colored the solution to green. To initiate the reaction the solution must be heated to about 70 degrees Celsius, then self-sustaining because it is exothermic. However, the operation must be performed outside or in the niche because a lot of nitrogen dioxide is produced, which is both toxic and corrosive. Also, the sheets must be added in small quantities and with continuous stirring, due to the strong effervescence. Each new amount must be added after the volume of gas produced has decreased significantly in intensity. It is extremely important to wear gloves, because nitrogen dioxide and nitric acid vapors strongly color the skin, and will ensure a tan of at least two weeks of the areas they came in contact with. In terms of quantities, I had worked with an excess of nitric acid for a faster dissolution, so the 100 grams of sheets require approximate 450 milliliters of nitric acid with a concentration of 62%. If there is no complete dissolution of the sheets at the end, add more acid and continue heating and stirring until no more nitrogen dioxide is produced, and no gas generation is observed in the solution. The obtained solution was stirred gently to entrain the suspended particles, and then I drained it in a separate vessel washing with a little water the solid residues, mainly pieces of disc that did not dissolve in the initial hydrochloric acid. While it is still hot, I diluted it with 6 to 8 times its volume with water, because otherwise upon cooling nickel nitrate crystals will form, which will trap between them the platinum particles. At the end, I left the solution to cool and decant it overnight, and then I carefully drained the liquid from above. Two washes of tap water followed, each time leaving the suspension to settle for about 7 hours, until it becomes clear. If it decants hard, then heat the suspension to about 80 degrees Celsius, and let it decant while it is still hot. Following this process, I removed any traces of nickel or silver. I did not throw away the nickel nitrate solution, but filtered it and then turned it into nickel carbonate with the help of sodium carbonate because it can be used in the future in an electrochemical nickel plating bath. In an attempt to calculate the platinum extraction yield as accurately as possible, I also cleaned the paper filter and what I collected I added to the initially separated powder. I even kept this filter in the idea that later I will recover everything from it with aqua regia, but in the end I didn't use it for anything. The next operation is to remove the silicon if it exists in any way, but also the aluminum residues left on the sheets, with which the nitric acid would not have reacted. For this, over the obtained powder I added a concentrated solution of sodium hydroxide, and I heated the suspension for a few minutes until it boils. The presence of silicon or aluminum can be observed by producing a slight effervescence, as a result of the generation of hydrogen and the formation of sodium silicate, or sodium aluminate. Just as an example, here I added a piece of food grade aluminum foil. At the end, over the basic solution I added distilled water and left it to decant. And in this case, 
It takes two to three washes followed by settling for about seven hours each. Regarding these washes, if you want a quick decantation, either heat the solution as I said before, or use boiled and cooled water or even distilled water. The explanation is that the tiny air bubbles from the tap water make sedimentation more difficult. At the end, I poured the solution into a vessel with four or five times more tap water and left it to decant. Also in this case, it takes two to three washes followed by settling for a few hours each. For practically reasons, even before the last settling, I neutralized the solution with hydrochloric acid using phenolphthalein as an indicator. The role of this neutralization is that during the drying of the platinum powder, the potential hydroxide residues will melt, and can react with the laboratory glassware. At the end of the day, don't be too happy with this seemingly platinum-rich suspension, because this metal was deposited on the original disc in a layer of only a few atoms. After drying, the final test was done with 30% hydrogen peroxide, knowing that platinum, especially when is in powder form, decomposes hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water very quickly. From the 100 grams of sheets, I obtained here 130 milligrams of almost pure platinum, which fits almost perfectly in the range of 80 to 150 milligrams of platinum for every 100 discs processed. Now, if you think this can be a business, I don't know what to say about that. What is certain is that a whole day of work and the reagents mentioned for less than 10 euros, I don't think is a big deal, but at least it was interesting. If you liked it, I invite you to subscribe and you will receive notifications every time I upload new videos. I also look forward to any comments, suggestions, or questions, and a share is always welcome. Thank you.